hi guys welcome to another video today is something exciting that i wanted to share with you guys and i think and i hope we support this because we have this beautiful sister that after the elections of what happened in the u.s i mean everyone is like now thinking about you know things black people are realizing that you know what nobody really cares about what, what we want you know what we want to see change who we as a people so this beautiful lady came on the internet and brought up like something that is really interesting and really a lot of black people are so into it right now which i think is very important as a group of people that are always looking for a way for us to you know grow ourselves as a people and yeah this is what she had to say so guys give it an ear and let me know what you think about it what if we had a black project 2025 hear me out i know it sounds crazy but this is my vision what if all of us were to get into a group okay i'm talking doctors lawyers engineers there's so many of us that are so talented and we were to work together with our own black agenda for 2025 i'm talking opening up black owned grocery stores in certain cities black owned banks so that way we can actually get our home loans and do what we need to do our own doctor's offices our own law practices and we really were to just congregate and push towards our goals and our outcomes right and so this is how i envision it going we can all get into this group we can all donate what we have to donate on a monthly basis and then basically we can have a ceo we can have a cmo and we can have a cfo that's in charge of leading the groups with the initiatives right we could have bi-weekly monthly calls in regards to where we stand with our goals so okay guys we want a black owned grocery store in los angeles built and developed uh, you know august 2025 this is where we stand this is how much we have funded this is what's needed this is where we are in the process and we just go from there and so we can just kind of congregate and then on top of that in this group we could also just have a massive directory of black owned businesses so that means that everyone that joins this group swears off of purchasing from these large corporations i'm talking black owned coffee brands clothing everything you guys can think of toiletries like down to everything like body washes everything we use and consume on a daily basis it is no longer purchased from these large corporations, it is purchased from one another. And I think that we can create so much wealth amongst ourselves just by strictly swearing off of supporting large corporations and only supporting one another and also congregating to create our own agenda. Now, I know that there have been people who have tried to do this before in the past and I know that we struggle as a community to trust one another. I don't really care about all that right now. I just personally feel like if we, would, if we are able to put our pride aside and get it done i feel like it could be one of the most impactful things done in black history like maybe there is a silver lining in kamala not being able to get into office because as a community we just become that much more tight-knit do you get where i'm coming from i i don't know i know it sounds crazy but i just feel like this is something that we should do and i feel like it i just i feel very strongly about the ability for us to transform our community and the perception of you know african-american individuals if we were to really finally come together black project 2025 yeah you heard that right and no it's not that section in trump's project 2025 that ben carson wrote black project 2025 is the brainchild of a 22 year old entrepreneur by the name of anaya holloway here are three things you should know about black project 2025 and where anaya actually sees this going number one anaya took to tiktok to share this idea of a black project 2025 right after the presidential election results came in with this idea that black people will come together to create an agenda that supports the black community specifically. Her vision includes opening up more black owned grocery stores, banks, doctor's offices, law firms, and a number of other businesses, which I hope doesn't include another brunch spot in Atlanta with hookah and a grass wall. You know, I love Atlanta, but all of these initiatives, all of these businesses will be funded by the black dollar. She says the staff that would help these initiatives move forward would include a CEO, a CEO, CMO and a COO with additional positions that are in the tech industry that would help run the platform. The leaders of this group would then host bi-weekly meetings with contributors and with community members about the progress that they're making with these initiatives. But the big question is, how do people feel about this? This leads me to number two. <laughs> they don't like it. I'm kidding. The day after she made the announcement, which is just three or four days ago, over 1,500 people signed up. There's now over 25,000 thousand people 
signed up to join the group. EP 2025 has 10,000 members. I went to sleep, there are 5,000. I woke up, there are 10,000. And guys, yes, Heartbeat servers are completely fighting for their lives. I have a call with them coming up this week, but the good news is Isaac, the creator of Fanbase, reached out to me and he and I are gonna get on a call. I'm hoping maybe we can find some kind of temporary solution that can handle a massive influx of requests the way that we are trying to join this group because guys, it is utterly insane. So bear with me there. Another update, keep an eye out on my bio today because the roles that are gonna be needed in the organization, those are going to be listed and you guys are going to be able to go and apply. So my recruiters, my front end developers, my database developers, my back end developers, my cybersecurity specialists, those roles are going to be there and I need you guys to apply. So yes, guys, it is getting crazy. There are so many people joining. I mean, honestly, I just checked a couple minutes ago and we were at 10,100. So um, bear with me, guys. And if you're trying to get in, just know I still have your information, even if you couldn't get in. So I am also going to be setting up our email list for our mass email, all that great stuff. So just know I got you down, even if you couldn't get in there. But guys, this is <laughs> this is utterly insane. Um, I'm super excited. But yeah, guys, this is I'm, I'm working on it. Which leads me to number three. And I has been very open that this was just an idea that she wanted to bring to social media. And it has materialized into something bigger than she could have ever imagined. So much so it has moved to a Google form because the amount of people that signed up crashed the platform she was on. What do you think about a Black Project 2025? Do you think it's needed? And will you support it? I see y'all talking about a Black Project 2025, and I just want to help y'all out real quick so we can make sure it's as radical as possible. But I'm excited. This is exciting. If y'all didn't know, my name is Julian. I am a abolitionist, Black queer feminist, and um, solidarity economy organizer. The solidarity economy movement is a movement about making sure people are prioritizing meeting each other's needs, like y'all are talking about with this Black uh, Project 2025. So it's really about prioritizing solidarity over capitalism which I think is what this Black Project 2025 could be all about. So I wanted to point y'all in the direction of some tools that Black folks um, across the U.S. and across the world are already using to build economic power. And maybe that'll help make this Black Project 2025 pop and be even stronger. So if you're not familiar already, I would really recommend reading about the Black Cooperative Economics Movement. And what are cooperatives? Cooperatives are businesses that are owned and run by workers. The profits are often shared among the workers. The workers are the ones that make big decisions about how the cooperative functions. That's if you're talking about worker cooperatives. There are many other types of cooperatives, including consumer cooperatives, which is really what I came here to talk about. Consumer cooperatives are where people who patronize a certain business organize themselves to make demands of those businesses um, to change things, right? So they're working cooperatively to change the nature of these businesses as the consumer base. There are housing cooperatives, which organize tenants and allow tenants to actually own properties together, make decisions about the properties together, set right rent prices together, and those exist across the country. So as we're talking about taking, you know, intentionally using our money toward empowering the Black community to resist the repression that is likely to come in 2025, I would highly recommend that we research and invest in these types of businesses specifically. I know folks are really excited to invest in black businesses and I think that's important, but but if those black businesses are only going to enrich one or two people as opposed to entire communities in the form of a cooperative, I'm gonna choose the cooperative. I'm gonna choose the thing that enriches as many people as possible and meets their needs. Because at the end of the day, what is the economy for if our needs are not all being met? Frankly, I don't want to organize the entire Black community towards something in 2025 if it's just going to enrich a handful of people. We need to do things that are going to help everybody, which is why I think cooperatives are so important here. Man, if you Black and you haven't joined Black Project 2025 yet, you are missing out, y'all. This is an opportunity of a lifetime for Black people, the Black community, to come together and create something that I haven't seen done before in my lifetime. They have tried to do this multiple, multiple times in the past, but we all know how that worked out. But this right here, this time, when I tell y'all, this is something y'all not going to want to miss out on. So many people have already tried to join within 48 hours that we actually crashed the server and we have to create a new app. First of all, I'm going to tag the creator in this video right here below. What you're going to do is literally directly click this on the, the name that you see on the video and it's going to take you directly to her page where she explains the whole group. But in summary, what it is, it's a black community where we're all coming together 
and contributing to each other and feeding off each other, whether you have a skill, talent, career, job, whatever the case may be. For example, I've talked about in my other pages, this is my seventh TikTok page, and I'm doing a video on every single page. Like, my main contribution is going to be swim lessons because I am a professional athlete slash coach and swimmer. But the page that you're seeing this content on right now is my clothing brand that I just started. So this is a black-owned clothing brand called Mezzanine um, Collection. And you guys, you can follow me if you want to. Again, I'm going to say my contributions in the group. Right now, like I said, so many people are trying to join that they actually crashed the server. So until you can get in, you're going to want to follow the creator that I tagged because this was her idea and she is working efficiently, diligently, and she is working her ASS off, y'all. Like she's already working with an attorney, looking for developers, looking for software engineers, looking for cybersecurity. Whatever your talent is, you can contribute. So let's just kick it off like go ahead and follow this page if you're interested in purchasing or supporting a small black owned business or slash clothing line but until then until you can get into the group luckily i already got in you're gonna follow the creator that i tag and let's just support each other and create this community we don't care about the regular little project 2025 because guess what we're building a black project 2025 and this is gonna be great and this is, like I said, a once in a lifetime opportunity. Black Project 2025, what is it? Let's talk about it. There is a creator on this app by the name of Anaya. Anaya is a 22 year old media buyer. And right now she is living her dream by growing her own advertising agency called Culture Media. She decided to come up with her own agency because while she was in the advertising field, she said she didn't like the way they was talking about she also felt like black owned businesses weren't being supported in the way that they needed to be supported in order to strive as a business three days ago she made this post she said what if we had a black project 2025 she wants to get us all in the space black professionals entrepreneurs business owners to basically come together and come up with an agenda for 2025. In this agenda, she wants to open more black owned businesses. She wants to promote these black businesses and basically just keep the money flowing in our community and generate that wealth. After the wealth is generated, we pour it back into our community. The first day immediately 1500 members. The next day jumped to 4,700 members. When they got to 10K, the platform they were using completely crashed. So they had to move it over to Google Forms and within 72 hours, there were 25,000 people in the group. Last night she made a post and the group is now at 40k members. So this is Anaya's page. She's our media buying bestie. Go ahead, make sure y'all hit her page up, give her a follow. This is the link tree. If you guys want to get up on this project, go ahead and sign that Google form and this is where you're gonna find it right here. And just to get a little bit more context, go to her playlist and click on BP 2025. It's gonna be everything you need to know about how we're gonna be moving forward. She will be going live tonight on her page at 6 p.m. Eastern time. I'm gonna be streaming it on the east side at 9 p.m. So make sure you hit that follow button, share this, Put your notifications on, go to her page, follow her, and let's go ahead and get on this call tonight. As you see in the video, that is what she had to say or what people also had to say. Like, I'm so happy that I'm seeing black people excited about doing something positive within our community. Not saying that we don't really like ourselves that much, but like... Most of the times when you come on the internet, you see us like fight a lot or say things that are, are not helping us like grow. But then... the enthusiasm that i'm seeing a lot of black people have with this project of 2025 it just screams success you know this sister you know saw a problem and she's like we need to create our own thing you know and it's really much much necessary needed um i've seen a lot of like black men really taking in accountability like you know what we are the men in the community as black men we need to start doing things that make us worth within our community and in the world you know and it's it's a little bit disappointing because i look into the african continent where we are ruled by majority of you know black men and these men don't really do things that better the community, which is really disappointing to me. Like, it's so sad that we have to now look at our brothers and sisters in the diaspora to, like, be our saviors now, when it could have been, like, a, very, a really, really strong force coming, you know, from the African continent. But I just love that at least we are starting to like wake up now and start to understand that we, we don't control most of anything yes africa might have the resources you know everything that we have is is organic and 
we were blessed by a lot of things, but we don't control those things. Like we are the biggest consumers. African people consume a lot of things from other people, even though we are the ones that give out the raw materials. And it's just crazy. So this sister is calling all people from all professions um, and is saying that we should have goals, set goals, you know, create corporations, you know, have like a foundation where we can create something and be able to accomplish that goal that we want to see met if it's to do, you know, fix education, if it's to uh, build a hospital, if it is to build grocery stores, supermarkets, to support a certain kind of uh, a project, we we would be able to do that if we came together and worked together. And this is something we've been like wanting to do, but it's not going to happen or function if if we, we are really not need to learn in you know the work time together and as black the people, that's something really that we kind of like struggle with a little bit. I've seen it around me, and it's like sometimes really sad. But like I just love like the excitement that a lot of black people are having within this project. And if you want to sign up, guys, if you want to check it out, I'll put the link in the description. Guys, this is our time now to shine and really, you know, have things for us, like make money that is still circulating within our community, like be able to put money within our own selves, like trade within ourselves. Like that's something that if we master it, these other corporations or let's say beauty corporations, medicine, you know, education, these other corporations, they would not have anything on us because when black people start putting money to black businesses, it's it's a game changer because if you look into the world, we are the biggest consumers. So really, you know, creating things and putting our money to our own community is going to be like the best project that has ever existed. So I just want to call out every black person around the world that this is our time now. And I'm so happy that, you know, black people are realizing that nobody cares about them in the U.S. I mean, with this election, you know, a lot of people like especially black people are like, you know what, it's time now or never like it's either now or never but yeah guys let me know what you think about this and do you think it's gonna work out are you willing to support and least try let me know what you think about this i already signed <laughs> yeah so yeah please let's let's do this let's do this yeah guys that is it for me in the video thanks for watching and yeah the creator is anaya i am just so happy thanks for watching guys i'll see you in another video